Hey there, my name is Raphael and I really suck at game art. Don't get me wrong, um, I still manage. I can do some pixel art, I can do some 2D art, I manage in 3D. It's not something I would put on Steam. It's definitely useful for a game jam, but there's no way I'm putting that on Steam. I know we shouldn't judge the book by its cover, but the art is still the first thing the player is going to see when he's first in contact with your game, right? So it's very important that the art pups. I've seen like there's so many reddit questions of people saying hey can I be a solo developer and succeed uh, with programmer art what the so-called programmer art most of the answers I see on there is like yeah just make some uh, simple shapes and then add some post process and everything's gonna look great and some particle effects and if, it, if it's juicy I see that a lot if it's juicy it's gonna work there's there's a lot of truth to that like designing a juicy game something that the player will feel that they will feel good that makes a great game once the player has the controller in his hand. It needs to have something that the player will remember. It needs to have that little touch. And I also see like, oh, you should do pixel art. Pixel art is simple. Anyone can do pixel art. Now, here's the thing with pixel art. Open up your Twitter feed. I don't mean that in any disrespectful way, but I mean, my game used to be in pixel art, but all the games these days are made in pixel art. The, the market is over flooded with pixel art games. While that's not really an issue, ac like actual artists have now seen interest in pixel art and they're making crazy stuff. Like I don't know if you've seen what people are making in, pix in pixel art these days, but it's just, it's crazy stuff. People are so good. Making a game in pixel art just for the retro style, it's not gonna get your game out there. Unless you really have that crazy style, you really have that unique pixel art look that everyone's looking for, it's not gonna put your game out there. So what can we do? What can we do as developers with no skill, no art skill at all? What can we do to promote our games and have a game that looks decent? We should stop looking at what others are doing, um, what artists are doing, because these people are professionals. They will produce better art than you. And that's just the fact because they've been doing it for so long. And I could take the time to learn how to make art. It would be such a long process. It's not something you can learn in a week or two. It's something you need to invest years and years of practice and I want to get my game out there now. I think there's so many things in game art that hasn't been made yet. I made a game in Play-Doh. Uh, I used stop motion and that's not a unique thing. It has already been made. I'm shook that there isn't any games out there that are going out and it's like it's claymation or stop motion or anything. I mean that's such a simple way to dodge this problem, right? And that's what I mean by um, I choose to suck at art, is I know art is a weakness for me. I'm not gonna try and fix it. It's gonna take so much time and energy that I don't have. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna work around it and find something that's still gonna be visually appealing or interesting that people will want to interact with. And I think like stop motion is one thing, but I think there's so many things, so many people out there are taking good pictures and if pictures isn't your thing and if you're a really good programmer, like shaders, there, there's people making games entirely out of shaders these days, like it's crazy. And I mean, that is unique, that is a real workaround for the problematic of sucking at art. Instead of looking at um, sucking at art as a problem, I feel like people should um, see it as um, an opportunity to create something new. I, re I really don't want people to feel stuck, you know? And it sucks, it really sucks. I felt stuck, I was like, oh, I, want, I really wanna make games, but I'm not good at art. One of the comments I get a lot is, this must have taken you forever. Like, creating this whole thing with Play-Doh must have been such a long process and um, my answer to that is well actually not really the way I like to, to look at it is making all these taking all these pictures making all these little clay animation it took me less time than if I wanted to learn how to make actual art right so um, and the best part is I don't have to be a good clay worker to create something visually appealing because I still have post-process, I still have uh, the particle effects, I can still make the camera shake, I can still make the game look juicy. I really understood that I needed to change my art style and I remember I was uh, at a convention and people told me like, hey, like you have really cool mechanics but um, I'm not really sure about the pixel art. Maybe you should try traditional art or maybe you should try and like I was there thinking like, like You know, you have no idea how I suck at traditional art Like I can't produce anything else than pixel art and I felt really stuck. I was like 
wait, like, I saw that thing the other day, people were remaking uh, Mortal Kombat with a green screen. The green screen in such a cheap way to, like, create a whole game with amazing art. And what's easy to move, what's easy to make stuff with, well, Play-Doh, clay. That's a solution, but I feel like there's so many solutions out there. It doesn't have to be Play-Doh, you can take pieces of paper, pieces of wood. I'd love to see a game made entirely out of wood. You could, like, 3D scan wood, make a whole game out of it, that would be crazy. There's so many stuff to do. And I feel like it's really sad that we just, we're fixated on one way to make games. So no, it doesn't take, it doesn't take a lot of time to um, make a different type of art for your game. It actually takes less time than actually learning how to do art correctly. And so I guess that's my conclusion here is that there's so many stuff to do. Um, don't limit yourself. Don't think you're stuck somewhere when you're not. We're talking about art right now, but I feel like this applies to every job in the industry of video games. If you want to make games alone, and uh, let's say you suck at programming, do something visually that people will feel so, like, that will be so unique that you don't have to, be, to have a complicated game. You don't have to have, like, all those crazy mechanics you want. You can have one simple mechanic that will take you maybe a bit of time to program, but that will really, really create something interesting. I feel like I've pretty much uh, made my point. Uh, you don't need to be a great artist to produce great art. You just have to find a workaround uh, in creating something new, creating something that people will find visually appealing, even though it's not um, crazy art. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to learn more about the game I'm making, Planet Cleaners, uh, please go check out the gameplay videos or uh, how I made it. I made a whole video on how I'm making the stop motion, if that's something that interests you. And, uh, or you can join the Discord and come talk directly to me and I'll be super happy to talk with you. Uh, the link is in the description, by the way. Um, so anyways, that's it for the video and have a great day.